What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I don't think I've ever made a follow-up video on a topic I've covered on this channel, but this? Yeah, this is worth talking about. This girl somehow made it onto Dr. Phil. I'll continue to call her this girl just because I don't want to direct any more attention to her than I already am because, you know, that's all she really wants. And considering the fact that Dr. Phil is under fire with the whole Turnabout Ranch and Daniel Bergoli situation, I feel like this might be his way of trying to somehow redeem his credibility. Although choosing her, um, I don't really see how that's gonna work out, so let's take a look! I'm famous for being beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, and talented. She's just trying to seek Insta fame, you know, through social media, trying to go viral. Talent. talent! There's one thing in this world this girl doesn't have, it's talent for sure. I do think she was outed as a troll. I'm not really gonna be taking anything she says seriously from this point forward. I'm live 24-7. Not anymore, you aren't considering YouTube and Twitch both terminated you. One night, I fell asleep during my live stream. My dad decided that it would be a good idea to yell at my sister, completely stealing my spotlight. When I tell you to do something, I'm still the boss of you, am I not? I literally woke up and people were just making fun of me. I mean, what else is the internet gonna do when they see somebody who's streaming and making money off of sleeping? I mean, seriously, I wish I got paid for doing that. I called Maya, yelling at her to take this video down. I was extremely hot. I was coming unglued. She called the police and live streamed that 911 call. I'm like seriously in fear for my life. He's threatening to kill me, he's threatening all this stuff, and it's like, I'm, I'm really scared. I noticed that she was still live streaming from the hotel room that she went to that evening. She eventually did get on the phone with me. You are a narcissistic drama queen, okay? You are. Regardless of her being a troll, I do have to say that that kind of behavior, like making false calls to the police and like lying about her dad having weapons and stuff like that, I draw the line personally for that kind of stuff. Like at that point, those actions aren't really considered trolling or even funny. My dad was just totally lying about me to embarrass me. He even said I was dead to him. I wish you the best. Goodbye. You're dead to me. And I meant it then and I mean it now. Mm, that's gonna be a yikes for me, dude. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that one. Till this day, I have not contacted my dad whatsoever. He's just a jealous hater. Yes, because anybody who doesn't like your ugly personality or your ugly looks is just a jealous hater. Yeah. Maya is all about trying to be insta-famous. My biggest fear is that my dad's going to use this narrative to make me look like a liar. One day, I was just doing my thing being famous and I decided to just troll. How pathetic can you be? You're fat, you're ugly, you look deformed. I was live the entire time. I saw this girl with the ugliest hairline. Ooh, wait, Susie Lou? It hair. is a oh, wig. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Leukemia? Do you have cancer? Oh my god, do you have cancer? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know, messed up hairline, wig, and oh, wig, cancer, you know, I just connected the dots. She wasn't actually wearing a wig. She really thinks she's some kind of Sherlock Holmes or something, the way she was talking about figuring out whether the girl was wearing a wig or not. Jesus fucking Christ. You are such a loser. You're wearing a wig because you're bald, huh? I thought everything I said was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I'll literally take all your cancer money. I'm going to sue you for all your wigs and chemo. Despite what you jealous haters think, like, I have morals. I would never attack anybody who's like a minor, visibly disabled. I knew she didn't have cancer. You have morals? Wait, hold up. Let's look at some of the controversies on her Wikitubia page, shall we? Okay, so controversies, we have the cancer patient. That's the one she kind of got blown up on the internet for. Uh, scamming. TikTok revealed how Tessie scammed people under the username. Okay, I don't care about That's bad. Uh, blackmailing. She blackmailed somebody. Uh, she's racist. 
Um, and I think she talks about that in the Dr. Phil video later on. Animal abuse, yeah, she also did some alinity stuff with her cat. She, like, threw it around and she locked it outside and that stuff. I talked about it in my last video on her. Uh, she said autism isn't real. Um, she copyright strikes people who criticize her and label it as harassment. She's not the only one who does it, but she sucks for doing it. Uh, transphobia. And then that led to her termination. So you obviously see that she does not have morals like she claims. It got reposted. People were saying things like, you're gonna find me, kill me. These cancer patients wanted an apology, so I gave them a f apology. Wait, so they first were haters and now they're cancer patients? What the fuck? I am sorry, yes. I'm apologizing because like, I really feel bad. Is that the best she can do? Oh my god, dude. She makes this. Hey guys, it's David. Look like a genuine apology. I feel like it was a pretty good apology. I really want Dr. Phil to clear my name because I really didn't do anything. So you want the man who's being accused of knowingly sending kids to a ranch where they're forced to do labor, where a murder and an alleged rape took place, to clear your name? You got a lot of attention for a video that you didn't want to go out, but it went out, right? No, that's not true. What happened? So what happened was I was just, just being famous, and one of my viewers reposted the clip. What do you mean you were just being famous how do you be famous that's a genuinely good question dr phil hopefully she'll actually know how to answer this one just, i guess just being like gorgeous beautiful amazing talented and just a celebrity all of those of which she is not you know so you're gorgeous beautiful beautiful amazing and talented. amazing talented and a celebrity yeah Oh boy, you can definitely see Dr. Phil does not believe a word he just said. And you know what? Like, I can't just not be gorgeous, so I just don't really care, you know? And how do you define famous? Me. I knew I was born famous. A superstar. Mm -hmm. And if you... Shut up. No, but no, no, hold on. If there's one thing I'm gonna give this girl credit for, it's the fact that she has the Valley Girl persona on spot. That is the only thing she is good at as of right now. Seriously, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out so I yeah. know. You're famous in whose, other than yours, whose eyes are you famous in? The Globe. The Globe? Yeah. On YouTube, you have less than 10,000 subscribers. Oh. God damn, dude. Dr. Phil really pulled the YouTube sub count card onto her. Jeez. You can definitely tell just by like, the looks on his face. He just is thinking, ah, how did I get to this point in my career? Oh, no. That's, uh, yeah, like that's, you know, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. This whole system's ready. the river. No. No, it's not a glitch. It's the number of followers or no, subscribers you have. No, Dr. Phil, it's 100% a glitch. It's, you know, um, it's supposed to be a capital B at the end, not a K at whatever. I think I'm at 7 billion. Do you know what the world population is? Dr. Phil be smacking this bitch with facts, my guy. Holy shit. Um, I, like, I don't keep up with... You know, the poor is really... Yeah. I just don't. Yeah, she don't be keeping up with the pores. I mean, my God. <laughs> she don't like that trend. Yeah, this she's clearly a troll, especially towards the ending you see. Like, she, she's not... Don't take her seriously. I know I'm not doing anybody a favor by bringing attention to this any more than it already has. Uh, I just thought I'd talk about it since I talked about her the first time around in a serious light. Anyway, that'll be all. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to make it as entertaining as possible. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.